This is going to be a tutorial on how to lighten a flywheel from a weed eater or a chainsaw for use on your model airplane or airboat. This is a chainsaw engine. It's a Poulon 36cc. It's one of my old engines I haven't used in years and years and years. But uh, as you can see, the flywheel is a fairly light flywheel. But when you put a propeller on, it slows down, obviously. You've got all these all these cooling fins that you don't need. I'm going to show you a two-step process on how to lighten the flywheel to get a little more RPM out of the engine and a little more power because we don't need these cooling fins. We have a big propeller that'll be here cooling. So we don't need the cooling fins. You're going to want to find a way to steady your flywheel while grinding on it. I'm using a drywall screw into a piece of wood. No bites. No, that's on there. It's not going anywhere. I'm using a uh, Metabo four inch grinder with a sanding pad on it. You want to do this with hearing protection and safety glasses if you got them. What you want to do is just start grinding flush, as flat as you possibly can. Put a nice look at it this way. See I'm too high here. I'll show you this up close. See that? Nice and flat. Now, on my chainsaw engines, and I'll show you one that uh, has been converted. Uh, if you look at the flywheel in there, see how the flywheel is still got the the grabber, the, the grabber pawls on it, I think they're called, or whatever, the starting things, okay? Starting cogs, I guess. Um, I left that one and that one because, oh, maybe I already did too much on this one. Silly me. Now, learn from my mistake here. This this flywheel will never get used because I've, I've got enough flywheels. This is just a junk engine. Um, when you do this, if you're going to leave these, leave two. Learn from my mistake. If, when you leave two of these and the engine speeds up, these start coming this way and they rest against there to keep centrifugal force keeps the pawls away from the starting cogs in there. Okay, the starting cogs. If you don't have that, then you could run into problems, I would believe. This is stage one, by the way. This is, uh, this is something you could do to a, a weed eater engine flywheel that doesn't have the, the poles on it. You can just grind it flat. If you don't have these, just grind it flat. And that's stage one. Stage two what I showed you on this end. Let's go ahead and turn this around, finish stage one, and then I'll go for stage two. When you're doing this, it's important that you don't hit the sanding wheel on the spring. You're seeing a little bit of spark, but that's coming off the center washer here that I'm using to hold it down. But yeah, don't hit the springs, otherwise you won't have them. See, now that's the way I should have done the other side over here. So this, this flywheel's junk right now, but, you know. I'll still, sh I'll still show you. 
So it's nice and flat, or fairly flat. And I got to come a little further on that, but um, you get the idea. It's got to be flat. You leave these two. If it's a weed eater that doesn't require those, you you can take them, take it all down flat, and that lightens it up quite a bit. And I'll show you an example of, of one of those engines. Here is an example of a weed eater conversion. You see what I mean by completely flat? Um, those were, you know, about that tall. Uh, they did have the uh, the poles here. You can see the holes where they were because it was a a front start weed eater. And we're gonna hand this one gets hand flipped started anyway, so it doesn't need those. So you see where I'm I've done with that one. Now I'll show you I'll show you stage two lightning. This is the stage stage two lightning is where you remove all the fins to remove even more weight. I uh, don't know if it's really necessary, I've done it, but this is where you'll need some kind of a balancer that will hold the flywheel. And these are neodymium rare earth magnets holding this up there. This will hold quite a bit of weight, but I have to find my special cone. Special cone, and again, this isn't perfect, but the special cone has a flat spot in it. Or, look at that. Look at, ow, this thing is hot. <gasps> ow, really hot. Anyway, uh, that flat spot is for that. To balance, to actually balance the flywheel, what you're going to want to do is let the heavy side fall and mark the heavy side, or take note of it anyway, and either grind more material off that side, or what I like to do is take a quarter inch drill bit and remove material from the heavy side. Let me see, show you the end result of this. Just like I showed before, that's the way it should have ended up with this one here and this one here. So when, okay. Now what I've done on this one is I've actually taken the other fins off to lighten it even further. Don't know if it's really required or whatever, but I did it. Um, this is the exact same flywheel. You can see that. And then, and then I balanced it after afterwards on the balancer. But it's a lot snappier now because the flywheel's lighter and you get a little better throttle response out of it because you're not trying to wind up that heavy aluminum. For use on your model, start again, dumbass. <laughs> Okay, we'll edit that out. <laughs> we'll 
super real. 